I Do Not Like Books Anymore by Daisy Hurst and read to you today by Gammy. Natalie and Alphonse really like books and stories. Now this one, with voices? Picture books with dad. Scary books mom read when Alphonse was sleeping. And granny stories about Melvin Plant Pot and the Terrible Shrew. And stories they remembered or made up. Natalie said, when I can read, I'll have all the stories in the world whenever I want them. And you can read them to me, said Alphonse. Then Natalie got her first reading book. There's a cat in it, said Natalie. I will read it all by myself. But when she opened the book, the letters and words looked like prickles on bird's feet. Miss Bimble said, it just takes practice. She helped Natalie sound out the words. The book was about a cat. The cat could sit. But it isn't a story. Natalie tried to read the book to mom. I can't, said Natalie, and nothing even happens to the cat. I like when you and dad read to me. You will be able to, said mom. Dad said, and the books will get better. Natalie practiced her reading book all week, again and again and again, until she knew all the words. Natalie is reading. I can sit, see me sit. Now can you read about trains, please, and bears, said Alphonse. But the letters and words in Alphonse's book look like scuttling insects with too many legs and eyes. Natalie said, no, I do not like books anymore. I can't learn to read anymore, said Natalie. Sinead is sick and I have to look after her. Poor Sinead, said mom, but you can still learn to read. I don't need to, said Natalie. I can make up my own stories and tell them to Alphonse. Sinead wants a bicycle. Why? To go to the farm to see chickens. But she didn't have any money, so she had to get a job. What job? Cleaning up pens. Then a caterpillar came in a truck. Okay, a caterpillar came in a truck and ran over the pens. And it was a mess and a disaster. Sinead was so angry, she said, Eric, you ruined my job. Now how can I buy you a bicycle and go to the farm? Is Eric the caterpillar's name? Yes. Eric said, I know. You can ride in my truck to see the chickens. And they drove away honking the horn. And some of the chickens went home with them. Some did. And they had tomatoes in their teeth. It's a good story, said Alphonse. It should be in a book. Why, said Natalie. So we could tell it again and with pictures. Let's draw the pictures anyway, Natalie said. Then Natalie told Dad what the words should say, and they stapled it into a book. Now, can you tell it to me again, said Alphonse. And Natalie found that mostly she could read the book they'd written with Alphonse helping. A mess and a d d d d It probably says terrapins. It probably has terrapins in it. The end. We have so much more to learn. Be blessed.